Hallo. You hear me? Ah, okay. Okay, so welcome to our booth. You see, I stand here on top of one of our glass, glass modules. It's, I think, the third or fourth time we have it at the fair. So a lot of people can jump on here, eight, up to eight people we had already here. And they all, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you see that those modules are very strong. And although they are very thin, Actually, here you see how thin our modules are. They are 2 plus 2 millimeter glass only. And uh, you can also see here, this is a special one. Uh, and uh, this is actually one of the focus of the fair. You see here, if you have a glass, double glass module with two sheets of glass, then you can, then you ha have a transparent module. You see it here, light comes from under these. You can use it in a in carports, in terraces, here all we have those transparent modules. But you also have the advantage that if you don't have a dark black sheet, then also light is coming from the back onto the module. Yeah? And so this is a bifacial cell, a bifacial solar cell, and we have bifacial solar cells over here. And uh, so this means bifacial that light is uh, power is generated from the front side and also from the back side. You see it here. You, if if you have your installation on a cross a cross ground, yeah, then you get an additional yield of around 10, 10 to 20 percent. If you have it on sand, then you get 20 to 30 percent. Depend and on snow, you get even more. So this is another at big advantage. Now, our, our company is focusing not only on the distribution of modules. We have two factories, one in Morocco and one in Dubai. But uh, this is one focus, uh, distribution of modules in different, different power classes and so on. But what you see here is also those carports, those terraces and uh, other installations, uh, those are building integrated installation we want to focus on. Our motto is uh, let the sunshine in. So we want sunshine, we want aesthetic photovoltaic. Instead of just having a technical product, we want an aesthetic product. So that's the focus here. And in our catalog, you find a lot of different installations we are, we are doing. Now another uh, focus is what we uh, have introduced here. There are two very important issues of mankind. It's energy, but also water. Water is essential for life. So we thought, why not combine production of energy with the production of water? There is enough water everywhere. We have salt water, which is about 90% everywhere, you know, all the oceans and so on. So actually, we have enough water, but you can't drink it, you can't use it. So this is a desalination unit, one of the smallest ones, but even if it's so small, it produces 200 liter of uh, desalinated water. Actually, we had in mind to put up a tank here, uh, get the water inside, but then we needed permissions and all this. So we'll do it probably at the next fair. Uh, so actually, it sucks the salt water. The salt water go goes in, and the pump pumps it uh, at a high, very high pressure through membranes, which, which are in here, and then you get uh, drinking water out of this machine. It uses around 2 kilowatt of power to produce 200 liter of water and uh, this is produced every hour so for 23 or 24 hours you produce a lot of water uh, for a small unit you know and uh, so if you use two, two point, around 2.2 .2 kilowatt for this pump only there's nothing else you need electricity or power. You need it for this high-tech pump only to have a very high pressure of the water, up to 100 bar pressure uh, through the membranes here. And then through these tiny holes of the membrane, the water, the, all the substances in the water, the parts which you uh, are all hold, held back, and only the water goes through. You find uh, pictures in our catalog, in the second catalog, uh, you may get or you get it as a PDF, 
in the second catalog you find a lot of pictures about all these processes. Uh, so this is a small unit and it's not expensive actually if you sell it for on 2200 euro and then we of course want to sell our PV installation uh, for this too. Now one of the ideas we have in mind although we are a very small company uh, although we are a very small company we have the idea of creating a city which is totally sustainable so uh, uh, our some of our younger workers have uh, have uh, taken this idea and they have created this model have created this model of a sustainable city and you see here all those on all those houses you find PV on all the office buildings um, on this building for example you see how how aesthetic uh, actually PV can be made so here you have a very nice uh, roof uh, with the modules over there this round building and if we are using those modules like you see here we get 40 percent light coming through and there this is enough light that the grass will grow and that we don't need any any anything addition in addition also we could have greenhouses we have a tennis court everything and so this city if you calculate all the power you produce in all those houses in all those installations uh, the power is enough to for the whole city to run businesses to run small workshops to run everything and also to power most of the cars so that's the idea behind it. We, we want PV to be aesthetic. We want to be uh, PV to be integrated in the communities, in the life. We don't want PV to be only a technical product. So that's the issue we want to follow in our company. Okay, well, I don't know, you have more time or? Uh, three minutes left, maybe for questions. Yeah, okay. Any question? Now with, with this uh, small desalination unit, of course this is only a very small one, but we have uh, larger ones and you could power, for example, if you uh, have a larger PV installation, you find it in our catalog, if you have a larger PV installation, of course you can uh, uh, make enough water for 25,000 people or for 50,000 people. And actually, once you have set up this installation, uh, the costs for the water are almost zero. Uh, you, you need a little bit for the for the pimprance to change, but that's all because the power is free. Yeah. So uh, the main issue in hot countries is uh, they they have a lack of water. But in all those countries who have a lack of water in Africa and so on, usually you have a lot of sunshine. So why not combine sunshine uh, with the production of water, for example? Okay. Well, you may look around, you may also look at the catalog. I get the catalog here. Any questions? I just thought nobody. See, this is a, a large uh, desalination unit. Uh, you find here in the catalog, which, uh, which you get as a PDF, you find different units. So that's the smallest one. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the smallest unit here, which you show, see here. But of course, we have much larger ones and you find some information in here and that's the motto of our company let the sunshine all the information will be sent to you um, via email um, electronically um, are there any questions from your side uh, your business only in, in europe or there is also in uh, asia or africa well we just want to start our asian business maybe next year uh, we have some requests from some investors to go into Asia too. Uh, so far it's uh, Europe and Africa, for example, one of those desalination units we will build in Jordan as a test unit in a very rough area, very hot, one of the hottest areas in the world, below sea water, so we want to test it there. And we have a request from Oman, also for a pilot installation in Oman. We have requests from Morocco 
So these are the business focuses we are now, but of course we are interested in, in any other country too. Any more questions? Now it's the chance. But of course you have the chance to come back anyway afterwards, uh, after the tour, and I think Mr. Macro will be happy to. Um, okay, so thanks for coming. You see our booth is not a usual appearance of a technical booth like over here. Uh, it's a little bit different and I hope you have a nice memory for on your visit in Almat in Europe and Kirpergi. Thanks a lot. <laughs>